You like van tours? Man, have I got a cool van tu uh, tour for you today. What is this thing? This is a recon by Pleasure Way, and joining me today is... Marshall, Pleasure Way Industries. Marshall, factory rep here at the show, gonna walk us through the recon, what it is, why it is, and why I think you're gonna find it really interesting. Absolutely. Marshall, thank you for a few minutes of your time. Really sure appreciate thing. that. Sure thing. In a nutshell, tell us a little bit about this van. Um, why Pleasure Way's kind of known for really great vans. Yes. But not so much adventure vans. So why right. getting into this market at this point? And well, we found that um, you know that market is growing exponentially, and with our production rate, it gives us an opportunity to expand and increase allocation to our dealers with a vehicle that uh, is different than anything else and quite unique. And wait until you see inside. It's pretty amazing. So let's start with Actually, looking at a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. Tell us a little bit about the chassis. Yes, this is the 2500 series Sprinter chassis with the three liter six cylinder turbo diesel. And the difference for Pleasure Way this year is we've ordered it in four wheel drive. Oh. And with the standard four wheel drive, we've also upgraded the wheels and tires to make it look a lot more aggressive. It's a lot more aggressive. And it's re this is the 170 wheelbase, is that right? This is the 144 wheelbase. 144, stand corrected. Yes, the 2500 series chassis with a 9,050 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Okay. And our dry weight came in just under 7,400 pounds. So we have a true 1,650 pounds of cargo and, co uh, cargo and occupant carrying capacity. That's amazing. So right out of the gate, you open the sliding door here, and this is very different from the get-go. So yes. maybe just kind of walk us through um, Truma Fridge? What is this? Yes, well, uh, we use the Truma Ice Chest on this vehicle because it's very versatile. You know, you could take it down to the beach with you. You could put it between the seats when you're uh, fishing down at the shore. Uh, but when you plug it in to 12 volt from its power source to power source, you can turn it on. It has its built-in compressor. Below 32 degrees, you can freeze your meat. Above 32 degrees, it's a great ice chest for about 96 cans, whatever can you like. <laughs> That's cool. I think the flexibility of this is pretty amazing. You lift this out if you're uh, wanting to drag it out for the rest of the camp to yep. enjoy. Maybe take it on the boat. Maybe take it with you in your side-by-sides or 4x4 things. Yes, absolutely. Um, and if you're going fishing, as you mentioned, you can turn it into a freezer and freeze your fish. Yes, and there's a little uh, code here. You can take a picture of it, download the app, and you can control the temperature from your smartphone. Marshall, another thing that sticks out to me here is this. Can you, this is kind of a pleasure way, what's the right word, feature? You guys are really well known for this multiplex display. Yes, we've been Just using multiplex that. wiring since 2016. And then in 2018, we incorporated the seven inch touch screen. Uh, this last year, we just incorporated the 10 inch touch screen. And with the 10 inch touch screen, it's a lot easier to read because the lettering is bigger. But we've incorporated a really neat little battery timer here. So when you're unplugged and you're boondocking, this 100% will turn into five days, four hours, and 37 minutes before batteries are drained. As soon as you start your ignition or plug the vehicle in, it'll tell you you have one hour and 27 minutes before fully charged. And I love the placement. It's yes. practical for people that are going to be outside the van. I think one thing that makes vans special is people learn to live outside of the van. Yeah, you go to places and you live. So here, the placement, again, very important for those that are out here. Under your awning, you where your have chairs, to, yep. lawn tape, yep, You don't have to here. climb on the inside, but I also see one on the inside too, right? Yeah, there's a secondary screen. Yeah, so this is the second screen up here, right? Yeah. Your second screen in here functions and operates the same as the outside panel, and it'll allow you to get into the different 
uh, sections that the screen will allow you to run. So on your home screen, you can run your Truma furnace, you can check your battery levels, you know, get an update on what your solar controllers are doing, uh, and basically check your fresh water levels and see if there's any errors on your water heater. If you need to operate the lights, you can go to our light page, turn everything off or everything on with a push of a button, and if you prefer, you can even dim the lights with oh, the control panel here. That's sexy. There's a little mechanical page that'll allow you to operate the front and rear fantastic fans, which do exhaust air or intake air. And this also has the Fiamma power awning. You'll control the power awning from this mechanical page. Nice little feature too that no one really seems to offer is we have a diagnostics page so you can mm. go through you know the entire system and check on what may be operating or not operating and if there's a fault you can see on the fault page what the uh, issue may be. Right now we're indoors so there's no solar coming in. It's telling so me the hey, solar's hey, offline. The solar's offline. That is stunning. So you're kind of standing in what I would call the great room so it's kind of a multi-purpose space very different from some of the other people's approach we definitely want to talk about the galley a little bit because everybody's probably going where in the heck's the stove bathroom behind me but let's talk about this yeah, this is kind of amazing space yeah tell us about this basically what we tried to do was give the largest garage space available and um, you have 124 cubic feet of storage in here from wall to wall, floor to ceiling. And the reason we're able to accomplish that is because we did push the bathroom forward a tiny touch to give us the six foot north south beds in here versus a lot of our competitors use a 54 inch double bed in the back. So our clients through 35 years have never liked to crawl over each other to get in and out of bed. So we made sure that they have the north south bed to be able to use this. This also is more than just a bed. It could also be an extension of your kitchen counter. So if I was just to pull this down and leave this in the up position, you can see this is a pretty good workspace. Huge workspace. Yeah. And this is where the sink is for the galley, so that makes total sense. Yeah, so I can plug my induction cooktop and be right next to the sink. And if I turn, you have right next to the, to the uh, refrigerator. If I wanted to plug in a toaster oven or a blender, I could do so and by using this. If I need a workbench for my skis to tighten my bindings or adjust bindings, change an inner tube on my tire, heavy duty, good solid material, you know, and this is going to support the weight that you need to be able to utilize this area. So it functions in multiple ways compared to being set as just one. I find this super compelling because going solo, you can use one side or the other as the bed. And oh. leave Absolutely. Leave the other as workspace, right? So you have permanent table. How hard was that? Yeah, real, right? So amazing. Nice twin bed. Tell us about this netty, springy stuff. I love this stuff. Yeah, we use cargo netting up here because we found that a lot of people are going to be sitting up here reading a book. And you could utilize the touch light or you could utilize the front lights. And this will allow you to not have that big bulkhead area there. And you could store a lot in duffel bags. You could store a lot in these netting area. And it's not going to be a headbanger for you when you're in this area. And Plus, it keeps the dry weight down as well. Mm. Interesting. And by not having cabinets, um, it gives a sense of openness in here. Oh, now, yeah. how tall are you? I'm uh, 5'10". You're 5'10", so you've got another couple inches there. I could just, yeah. And by not having traditional cabinetry, and I love these, these stretchy things because they're so, what's the right word? Usable. Flexible, usable. Yeah. They're really, really great versus um, you can cram a lot in here, as you see. Especially if you put them in like a little storage pack, it's pretty cool, right? Right. Um, looks like you have a roll-off screen roll from off Canada, screen I hope. Back. Yes, roll-off <laughs> screen in the front. Roll off screen uh, the and front. they both have the blackout shades as well. So you have both screen and blackout. Oh. So you get all the air, none of the insects, and all the privacy if you want. Super nice. So, Marshall, as you're back there, I'm noticing there's a Max Air fan right above your head, yes. one above my head. What's missing is kind of an AC air conditioner unit. Tell us about AC, which a lot of people are using to run off lithium batteries this day. This has been kind of an adventure van. Mm -hmm. um, what are you guys thinking around that? Well, we decided to go with uh, four 100 amp hour batteries inside the van. That's going to give you all the 12 volt power that you need. To recharge those, you're going to have four 100 watt solar panels on the roof that are going to slow charge the batteries. If you want to charge them rapidly, we ask you to start the ignition and use the alternator or plug the vehicle into shore power and that'll charge your batteries. There is no air conditioning unit on this vehicle. There is two fantastic fans. They both blow in or out, depending upon how you'd like to. Or like you're circling, up. so one can blow down over the bed and this yes. one could be venting the fumes out. Exactly which, uh, right. Which is pretty cool. Right? On the mechanical page, all I'd have to do is turn one to the exhaust, 
the other one will intake. Now this one will pull out and that one will push in. That's so great. Oh yeah, um, circulates air significantly fast. So storage under here, is this the deal? Yeah, you do have some storage below. Awesome. Okay, in this area here, there's two nice shelves, as you can see. We have our uh, solar charge line disconnect there for people that live in cold weather. They say lithium batteries are not good to be charged under 32 degrees. Yep. So we do have a thermostat on our batteries built into the uh, touchscreen panel, and you can turn the charge line off there. Our 2000 watt Xantrex inverter is located inside this cabinet here. So by turning the inverter on, we'll give you approximately 16.6 .6 amps of electricity to run your portable induction cooktop, to run a toaster, a blender, whatever you wanted to plug in, it's under 16 amps. And no propane on board? This does have a five gallon propane tank okay. that runs your Truma Aqu uh, uh, AquaGo water heating system and your Truma Vario Heat Furnace. Okay, the third component is your exterior barbecue. Okay, that's cool. induction, so induction cooktop. Cooktop. This, this is a portable is induction cooktop, so this can be plugged into the outside outlets if you're using a table and chairs outside or right. inside. Great point. So behind the magic doors here, what are we looking at here? Well, this is a storage locker that has adjustable shelves, as you can see. So if you remove the shelves, this is also a stand-up shower. You have 40 gallons of fresh water on board because we put the water above the raised floor instead of below the chassis. So there's significantly more room inside the van so we could double the water capacity and put the heat duct around it to make sure it stays warm in inclement weathers. That's correct. Cassette toilet? Five gallon cassette toilet and that is uh, evacuated out the side out of the, the van side. and it's got its own wheels and handles. And if you want to shower, it looks like you can shower. Um, th now these are um, like marine grade plastic, not the um, yeah, the, the material is a, it's like a high end ABS material, so yeah. it's very strong. Very it's not strong. going to get brittle and dry out and right. crack over time, right. and it's super lightweight, so you can take them out easily when you're ready to use it as a shower. Really smart. There's also a heat duct in there, so if you hang your wetsuits, your skis, or boots, it'll dry them off once uh, you turn the furnace on. So smart. Uh, Marshall, I'm noticing that the lagoon table is super popular in the van space these days, but what is this thing here? I'm noticing that as well. Well, this is a flip down station for you to be able to use for a laptop, for you to be able to use uh, to charge your phone when you have the, uh, uh, the chair swiveled without the lagoon table. And the lagoon table stores flush up against the cabinet, mm -hmm. so it's out of way and it's not a loose object during travel. So cool. And you can put more lagoon mounts are probably back here someplace or you can uh, there isn't at the moment but for certainly. 69 dollars you could buy the base on lagoonusa.com <laughs> that's pretty awesome it's really a nice van it's yeah and these are like mood lightings what are these things well you know a lot of times it's hard to see the cargo when the beds are down because it's really dark under the beds so we put a light underneath here that you can access your cargo and see what so you're what kind of impressive right um a lot of difference which i think is key is trying something different i'm so Excited when manufacturing the pleasure way again, known for really high end rigs, trying something really vastly different here, which yes. is I so appreciate. A couple things I'm noticing outside, maybe you can run us by uh, this thing right here, starting with. Yeah, obviously, see up above, we have the full P uh, power awning by Fiyama, and this also has a wind retractor on it. So nice. if it does get a little windy, it'll pull itself in. You'll notice the upgraded wheels and tires by the uh, black rhino rims and the BF Goodwrench or the uh, Toyo tire, excuse me. Yeah, so handsome, right? Full length running board, it runs all the way down. And at the end of the running board, you'll see the quick disconnect for our LP gas uh, uh, barbecue. Yeah, which is so great. And a light up here for a patio light. Patio awesome. lighting, all the way around. There's two on the, on the awning side and there's two on the passenger side. Ooh, so front and rear. Front and rear. Oh yeah. I just love the, uh, the color, number one, and the, and the graphics are really well done. Uh, just super impressive rig. So we're going to talk about one of the three things people always ask about. Um, warranty on this. Let's start with warranty. So what's a warranty on this rig? Uh, Pleasureway offers a five-year, 60,000-mile workmanship on all structure of the RV. So anything Pleasureway built with the cabinetry uh, that they put together by hand is five years, 60,000 miles. Your electronics and components are warrantied by their own manufacturers, and they vary between one to two years. Okay, that's amazing. That's so great. Um, next people, thing people always want to know about is um, availability right now is uh, well, uh, chassis way. are a problem. So what's, if yeah. I want to get one of these things, where? You'd I'll have win. to uh, more than likely contact us and we would tell you where the next available units are coming. We're currently at a show for La Mesa RV here in San Diego and they have three units that are completed that will be shipped in the next three to four weeks to the dealer. <laughs> That's so cool. 
Um, but they are moving, and you said chassis are coming in, so things yes. are. Yeah, in we, we do see the light at the end of the tunnel, and uh, we have started receiving some chassis from uh, Mercedes, from Ford. Um, we're just waiting right now for some uh, Dodge Ram ProMaster chassis. Thank you, Amazon. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, so this can be built on all three chassis styles. Is this that right? is only built on the Mercedes Sprinter, Sprinter 144. Oh, you're talking about for the other models. Pleasure Way offers 10 Got floor it. plans. Yeah. This is the unique model, brand new, that just came out. Yeah, and this, the Sprinters are so popular. And the, the, you know, the thing people are probably waiting for is how much does one of these bad boys cost? This has a $171,600 base price, and then it costs $3,200 to put it on a flatbed truck and deliver it to the dealer. Oh, nice. So just nice. under $175,000. $175,000. It's really, really a nice product, and I just thank you again, Marshall, for your Absolutely. time. Um, again, I just have to give kudos to Pleasure Way for trying something new. You. Um, you know, is it a storyteller killer? Is it a rebel killer? I don't think it's really going after. It's going after that market in general. In between, who, who, yeah. do you, who do you see buying these vans? Well, you know, not a lot of people, or not all of the the four wheel drive adventurous need thirty and forty thousand dollars worth of ladders and racks and lights, lights. and winches <laughs> and skid plates because they're not going to use it that way. So if you want a vehicle that starts out at one hundred and seventy five versus above two hundred thousand, you know, you can add a couple of those things yourself. We feel, and you could save yourself a lot of money. And you're not going to sacrifice two, three, or four years in warranty because you're going with a company that's been tried and true, building nothing but vans since 1986. Totally agree with you. Um, you said something there that made me think of it. Um, there's no bump outs on this because it's a it's a north south yeah. versus east west, so Better no hunt. bump outs. Um, and because of that, it looks like an adventure van, but it doesn't scream adventure van RV that may call attention to places where you don't want it. Yeah, associations, sort of CCNRs, right? yeah, yeah, this is a, a very sleek looking sleek vehicle. Sleek is a good way to say it. Yeah, it does That's not look like an RV, it looks like a four wheel drive, just a, you know, adventure van. <laughs> it's so great. Marshall, thank you, sir, for your time. Mike. And uh, he's just really been gracious. People can learn more at pleasureway.com. Is that pleasureway.com? Pleasure we have a wonderful com? website, a lot of information on there, videos on every one of our models. Um, you can go back and download a manual for each and every vehicle we've ever built all the way back 10 plus years. Uh, there's nothing like it, and there's no company like us. And well, <laughs> it's true. It's so true. Um, and you say La Mesa's got a few rigs uh, coming, so if you're, we're going to try and get this out pretty quick. So yes. contact La Mesa, and they will. Uh, yeah, they'll be able to put your name on uh, incoming units uh, that are offline at the end of September and also into October. That's amazing. Thanks again, sir. You got it. Pleasure meeting you. <laughs>my microphone away I want to capture this um, so sorry for the audio and what we're looking at here is gray waste outlets shower and sink and you might be going but where's the valve right I was thinking the same thing so what Marshall showed me is the gray tanks are actually in here inside in jerry cans right here 10 gallons of each and so what it is and when you want to um, take a shower or use your sink in a meaningful way you would let me zoom out for you you would uh, connect your can with a provided hose to this connection point right there you see that it's hard to see sorry right there to the um, exterior then you would uh, do your your business in here in the shower or in a meaningful way in the sink and then that's how you would do that so waste gray inside waste waste toilet um, is inside as well so pretty much four season and the water as we know is underneath pretty clever right also wanted to show you this and that is hiding behind the cover here is 
12 volt, but more importantly, well, as important, this is fresh water into the tank that's right there, 40 gallons. So this is kind of becoming a thing to put this on the inside of the vehicle. You would have to open up your cargo doors to fill that. 40 gallons, that's gonna take a little bit of time. But then you fill it and forget it. Close the doors and you're good to go. So that's the water system. It has a built-in step. So that's the water system. And this is fresh filled city pressure, which is kind of interesting because the waste is kind of hanging out here. So that's a little curious, but nonetheless, really impressive, really impressive van. While we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Right. With you and I, the future is bright. 